So as an addendum to what I was just talking about, here's an example of some data um, where they've used both equal interval and natural breaks to demonstrate how you might be able to create your categories. Now, the equal interval has some benefits in that if you're comparing two different areas, two different regions, two different um, data sets, uh, the equal interval is something which is comparable. With natural breaks, however, once you start either comparing it to a different region or different area that has got very different data ranges, the natural breaks makes it very difficult and sometimes impossible to actually create an appropriate comparison. Um, also with natural breaks, if you're wanting to add data, it means that those natural breaks aren't going to be um, applicable necessarily. So for example, if you're looking at population densities in Northern African nations, um, these might be your natural breaks, but once you then started to extend it down and look at Sub-Saharan African nations, those natural breaks may not necessarily apply. So when we're looking at one map on its own, either of those two um, could be an option and it's using the histogram idea uh, that makes it easier to try to determine where those categories should best lie.